Portmore. Here, they turned swamp into marl pits, stretches of reclaimed firm ground, waiting always for storms to fill craters, allow the rising tide to meet sudden lakes. This is the ruined earth before it was ever glorious. Everything is flat here. Acacia bushes and dull green almond trees scattered along the roadway squat as cowering crowds as if afraid to rise above it all, afraid of the slash of the big machete, and where the city begins, a line of bars and fish dens, the stench of rotting fish and cooking garbage. At dusk, the women line the streets, red and garish green, and the quick flamboyant scar of yellow. It is a basic trade, making ends meet, holding body and soul together, making dicks hard fast to make them soft, quick it is work. No sweetness here, just the calculation of survival. This is where Kingston has seeped, spilling out new tribes that try to grow roots in reluctant soil. The bloodletting continues over the plains, over the water's edge, to the scraggly heights of St. Diego. You will find no palm trees here, not a coconut frond in sight, and we come to the crowded beaches for fish and festival, not for the water and black sand in these grey, foamy coves, where everything has died. And the fishermen must push far out towards South America to find a fresh fish to catch. And Lascelles, dressed in his green gabardine, the well-pressed olive shirt buttoned like a bad man to the last button at the throat, struts through the Wilton city. Lascelles, the man with a voice sweet as Delroy Wilson, with the roots ruggedness of Dennis Brown, and a soul boy's pretentiousness like he could dance bandy-legged like Ken Booth. He can sing, this small, sharp-headed man, head up, strolling the side streets with nothing to show for it, hoping that now, since labor is in, that the Green Party people will let him cut a tune, capture a stage, burst like a hero for the last triumph before the disease in his blood, the disease that shadows even the sound of his name takes him. Snap a shot of Lascelles, leaning back against a pink wall, shades over his eyes, left foot pressed against the wall, hands tucked deep into his pocket with a cluster of lazing women conserving their energy, waiting for a regular to come by for a quick one. And he sings into the night, his head thrown back, his head swaying, that voice carrying over the squalor, making these women look up for a moment, seeing for the first time in a long time the magic of an open sky. <laughs> 